Welcome back to my channel for another video this week. If you are new here, my name is Carrie. I live in New York City and I make videos about home decor, style, and life in New York City here. About seven months ago, I filmed a video of my apartment doing an apartment tour that I later uploaded to YouTube. It was my first YouTube video. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know if anyone would watch it. And as I'm making this video, I think it has 400 and something thousand views, which has been crazy. I know that video is the reason why so many of you guys have found me and subscribed and stuck around. And I just wanna say thank you so much. And I still really can't believe it and I'm so thankful since then, I have made a lot of upgrades to my apartment, some of which I have chronicled in other videos, which I will have linked. And I've also just swapped out a few other pieces, acquired some new ones, etc. Somewhere along the way there, the Furniture Brand article reached out to me wanting to partner on some content. They wanted to send me some pieces, and now that those are in my space here, I just thought it would be a good time to do a refreshed, updated apartment tour. Now that pretty much every inch of my apartment is DIY'd or touched in some type of way. Since I did go pretty in-depth last time with all the details and kind of the back stories of some of the things. I'm not going to be doing that in this video and this one's gonna be a little bit more, I guess you could call it like produced and edited and I'm just kind of experimenting with a different format. Real quick, if you wanna see more videos like this or you wanna stick around and subscribe, I would love that. Please also turn on your post notifications and I hope you guys enjoy this video. As far as New York City bathrooms go, I would say this one's honestly pretty good. While it's definitely more on the no frills side, there's no marble or fancy upgrades or anything like that, it is pretty clean and honestly pretty spacious compared to some others that I've seen while I was perusing apartments. I gave it a little bit of a makeover at the beginning of this year, playing off of the blue towels and accents that I already had in the bathroom. Strangely, but conveniently enough, the apartment has this built-in laundry hamper, which I wasn't taking advantage of for a while, but I finally decided to start using it and it's really been a game changer. Above that, I just have some floating shelves on the wall that house some decor as well as some functional items. This wall I'm pretty sure is concrete or something that is not able to be drilled in at all, which meant that I wasn't able to hang anything substantial on this wall and kind of make use of it. And so I ended up just covering it in wallpaper to give the bathroom some color. And to the right of that is a storage unit that was part of my bathroom DIY. The only storage I have in the bathroom is underneath my sink. And to give myself a little bit more, I just built this unit from Amazon and covered it in marble contact paper. I also have these built-ins in the wall for soap and toothbrushes, but I just use them for other stuff. And then I have my medicine cabinet. Now, disclaimer here, I know I have a ton of skincare, but I am a beauty editor, that's my job, and so a lot of this comes with the job. I just have some towels on the back of the door on this over the door hook, and then I have my shower curtain. And that's the bathroom. Now we're back at the hallway, which is what you see when you walk in. And in addition to my runner on the ground, I have this gallery wall. This is just a big white wall that extends all the way down to the window. I wanted to break up and define the space, and so I put a gallery wall there. I have so many art and other wall hanging pieces that I've found and collected and purchased and whatever, and so those are all here. Some of my favorite and most meaningful things are on the wall, including this horseshoe and this very beat up note card that I got from a teacher in high school. Across the way, we have my kitchen, which is behind these doors. I never close these, but I just wanted to show that they do close. And this is the newest upgrade to the apartment. My most recent video showed how I did a complete makeover on this space, including the floors, wallpaper, and backsplash. 
My microwave conveniently fits above my fridge and saves me a ton of counter space. Here you can see this peel and stick subway tile backsplash that I did and some of my retro appliances. And then on the wall to the right, I have my wallpaper. Just wanted to clarify that no, the wallpaper is not upside down. The flower that's on it naturally grows this way and the branches hang downward. Finally, I have my countertops, which have marble contact paper on them. I've had this on for a full year now of me using my kitchen every day and they're still in really great shape. And that's the kitchen. And now the main event, the main room of my apartment, which for reference is just under 12 by 17 feet or 200-ish square feet. Starting off with my dining area, this is where I eat, work, do my makeup, everything. Because my apartment is small, spaces really have to be multifunctional here, and I chose to go this route instead of having a desk or a vanity. Turning left, we have the living room section of the space and probably my favorite in terms of how it looks. The couch was one of the only things I moved in with, and that combined with the emerald rug and poker dot wallpaper are really what ended up dictating my entire apartment decor, which I'd say is a mix of colorful, quirky, and mid-century modern influenced. If you're in the market for a neon sign, highly recommend this company. They probably have every design and phrase you could ever want. I'm pretty positive this credenza is a knockoff of a West Elm one, but less than half the price. I love, love the shape and color of it, but I swapped out the knobs and handle for some mismatched anthropology ones, and I think it made a huge difference. This clock was from my grandparents' antique collection and is one of the most meaningful and important things in my apartment by far. Keeping with the antique vintage theme over here, I thrifted this vintage mirror in Brooklyn, and then because the main space has zero built-in lighting, I have this lamp. This coffee table was a super simple DIY project. After realizing it didn't look how I thought it was going to, I decided to cover it in marble contact paper that I had left over and spray painted the legs gold on my fire escape. And this is how it looks after a year of wear and tear. Believe it or not, my green oriental rug that I mentioned earlier was under $70, and after a year, I think it's in pretty good shape. The way that this little area came together was totally not intentional, but I'm so glad that it all worked out. I hung this periodic table print above the bench and then just stacked up some framed prints that I had waiting to be used, and I have kept it that way ever since and really love how it looks. To the right of those, I have the first article piece in my apartment, which is this sheepskin poof. I used to have a gold and acrylic chair here that was in my last apartment tour, but I never intended to keep it in the space and I wanted something that was a little bit more, I guess, inviting and comfortable. And this poof ended up being exactly what I was looking for. First of all, it is so, so soft and it also matches the fuzzy pillows that I have on my couch. I also really love that this is something that can be moved around and used for different purposes. You can use it as an ottoman and it's also extra seat so it's really just the best of all worlds. Sitting on top of it, I have this half moon pillow that I got at a vintage store in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. To the left begins my little faux plant line standing mirror area that was also completely unintentional. The arched mirror is from World Market and on the left, I actually have some stacked up cube bookshelves that I repurposed from my last apartment and now they're plant holders. Then finally, some real plants in my apartment. These two are from the sill and are brand new additions. I'm really trying to be a good plant mom to them, so we'll see what happens. I also have some fresh hydrangeas in a vase, as well as these vintage acrylic grapes. Yeah, I don't know. I thought they were cute and they're green, so it works, right? And finally, we have the bedroom section of my apartment, which I feel like, thanks to the bookshelf and the rug, makes it feel at least kind of separate from everything else in the space, even though it's just one room. And speaking of the bookshelf, this is another one of the DIYs in my apartment, which I wallpapered at the back of. It was just a plain white bookshelf before, and I thought this was a nice way to just get some color into the space and to create a little accent moment without doing like an accent wall or anything like that. Next to another one of my plant children, which will eventually grow out and be long so I won't have to have this fake stem there, I have this really cute translucent lamp, which is another piece from Article. This is the orb table lamp, and even though it's not on a table, it's still super functional, and because again, I don't have any built-in light in the main space of my apartment, it's just essential that I have lighting wherever I can. I really love the whole look and vibe of it. A lot of my apartment decor is a mix of different styles and on top of the, you know, very quirky bookshelf, I think this is just a nice way to get a little bit more of a modern aspect in the area. Like a lot of other spots in my apartment, this bookshelf really did have to be multifunctional. So while it is a display area of sorts for just some random stuff that I have, it's also a place to house my jewelry and makeup and also kind of act as a side table or nightstand because I don't have room for one. 
To keep my books in place, I was originally looking for bookends, but after getting this black marble clock from Article in person, I decided to kind of change course from my original plan, which was obviously to hang it on the wall. And because it is real marble and very sturdy, I decided to use that as a big bookend. And similar to the lamp, I really like the way it ties together the kind of quirky modern aspect I have going on. And of course it's consistent with the black and white accents that I have throughout my apartment. And I really like the way it looks on the bookshelf. This alligator is actually a set of bookends, but I ended up just using it as a little decor piece. And then I just have some bags lined up on the shelf below that. To the left of the bookshelf, I have the largest of my real plant children, and this is a snake plant. It's in this white pot, and then this mid-century modern looking plant stand, which I got off Amazon. And that is my whole apartment. Because I think my apartment does actually look a lot bigger than it is, I just wanted to include one final shot of me standing in the center of it and spinning around so you can see kind of where everything is in relation to me standing there. As you know by now, this video was in partnership with Article, and if you are interested in buying any of the pieces that I showed or just looking at additional ones, I will have those linked below for you guys. If you guys do decide to get anything from the brand, they have free shipping over $999 if you get large ticket items as well as a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. I highly, highly encourage you checking them out, especially if you are currently looking to furnish a space. And that is my updated apartment tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here and subscribing. Hello to all my new subscribers as well. And I will see you guys on the next video next week. Bye.